Hey Fearless Millionaire. In this video, I wanna share with you about a question that I get asked very often. Actually, it just happened to me just the other day. I often get asked the question, Nathan, how can I make money yesterday? I need to make money now. I need to change my finances today. I need cash quick. The truth of it is, that's literally almost impossible. Legally, <laughs> it's almost impossible. And listen, anyone that's gonna tell you that you can get rich quick, they may not say those words, they may say things that you can make money fast in 30 days, you can start a business and generate profits and income in two weeks like Joe, Sally, or Tony has done. You can uh, build an automated system or a business and be up and running and, and, and generate profit and make X number of dollars in like 30 to 60 days. Be very, very careful with that. Now listen, don't get me wrong. You can make large amounts of money in 30 days. You can make large sums of money in two weeks. But it all depends on your fine, on your knowledge and education and background before you those two week time ticker begins. That's the truth of it. Because let me tell you something, I work with a lot of students that who that you know have you know get started in uh, real estate investing they they have this goal and dream of you know making a lot of money however what what they don't often realize is that it takes some time to get to get started but I do work with some students who actually you know, they make, uh, you know, $34,000, $17,000, $25,000, and they do it in 10 days. But what is failed to often realize sometimes is that, that that knowledge or action has already been implemented for quite some time. So just keep that in mind. You don't want to put yourself in a situation um, where, you know, you're, you're, you're the get rich quick mindset is your tr your your end all be all and i get it you know getting you need money fast and you need to make that kind of money but just be very careful with that because it's usually not rewarding it's very stressful uh, the best way to build wealth is slow and steady slow and steady daily wins the race slow steady and daily wins the race and this is all determined by your habits if you constantly think you're gonna eat, drink, and be merry, and that's the way, the lifestyle you lived for you know three the past three years, then guess what? Your next three years are probably gonna have some, some, some serious consequences, right? Or you're not gonna get the results that you're looking for financially. However, if you change today, even starting today, if you change your, your daily routine, maybe you invest daily, and even if it's a small amount, maybe you invest weekly, maybe you invest not only in your bank account or your um, not your bank account but if you don't invest in the market on a daily basis maybe you uh, invest in your knowledge and education on a daily basis maybe there's something more that you're expanding on and growing in um, that will produce down the road that will produce you know six months from now one year from now that's the kind of mindset you have to have you know I, I travel the world I talk with I talk with investors real estate uh, owners I talk with um, owners of big corporations all over the world and you know I always find that the character traits are usually the same the habits of millionaires and billionaires are typically they tend to be the same there's a thought process there's an educational mindset that's there that that's that's within the mind no one's born with it everyone you have to be educated into it right you have to gain the knowledge and that's the beautiful thing about becoming financially free is that you can gain the knowledge the skill set and what it takes it's open to everyone that wants to get there that wants to achieve it that's what i love about it that's actually something i learned about in sales many years ago actually when i was trying to uh, build wealth or make more money and uh you know i was i was at a young age around 17 18 when i started learning about sales techniques and strategies one of the things that first came into my mind was, you know, how am I going to be so great in sales if, I, you know, I'm not good like this guy or that guy? And, you know, how, how am I going to do it? 
And then my coach, my first sales coach taught me, his name was Brian Tracy. He taught me something very, very valuable lesson. He said, no one is born with selling skills, but a skill everyone can attain. It just has to be sharpened like a knife. You have to sharpen your sales skills and you can become a rock star. Well, that gave me hope. That gave me the, an inspiration to move forward and say, you know what, I can learn this. I can understand the psychology of a sale. I can learn how to master my finances. I can learn how to master wealth and investing. And you know, it was because of him that actually helped make me uh, uh, into into sales position, helped me make over uh, six figures uh, in sales. So. It's uh, just a beautiful, a beautiful thing, and uh, I, I, I don't think you can, you can ever get back those, uh, those uh, abilities. Um, you can't lose after you, after you learn them. So I just wanted to share that with you. That remember, your everything you're doing now, you're investing for the long term. It's not the short term. Everything you're reading, training, and growing your mind for is not just for today or tomorrow. It's for the future. It's for the future because that's when you're going to need it. All right, I'll see you real soon. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a like. See ya.